My name is Natalie Alcala, and I'm here with Kimberly Snyder, the author of Beauty Detox Foods. Hi, Natalie. Hi. The book just came out, right? It just came out a couple days ago. I'm really excited that it's finally out there. Exciting. People can and share, yeah. make it. <laughs> Yay, and we're here in your wonderful kitchen. Yes, welcome to my kitchen. This is my LA kitchen where I do spend a lot of time making food for clients and perfecting a lot of the recipes, um, such as the ones in Beauty Detox Foods. So this is where the magic happens. This is where the magic happens, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> this is a very special kitchen. So we're going to do something today that not many people get to do. We are going to raid your fridge. I'm going to raid my fridge. Come check it out. This is a rare occurrence to come into my actual um, into my actual kitchen and my actual fridge. Wow. So obviously I didn't pre-plan here. It's a little bit messy, but this is really what my fridge looks like on any given day. Wow, so what's in that <laughs> container up there? So this is this is my um, cooked quinoa, which I tend to always have in the fridge. That way, if I'm super hungry, all I have to do is heat it up, throw it together with a couple things. Sometimes I just throw it right into the salad, and it's quite filling, it's gluten-free, it's full of protein, it's full of minerals. So this is just a great thing to keep around so you don't ever get into a bind where you're reaching for foods that are less than ideal or less than beautifying um, because you're hungry. So this is a super awesome beauty food. Up there. Okay, and what's that purple thing up there? Oh, this? <laughs> this big purple thing is, um, this is one of my favorite beauty foods. This is purple cabbage. And this is packed with collagen building vitamin C. It actually has more vitamin C by weight than oranges. Um, it also has vitamin A, some B vitamins, a lot of fiber. Um, it's great for slicing up and throwing into any salad or any dish for color. And it has just so many amazing beauty properties that it's something I always, always have in my fridge. Um, I love it so much that there's actually another one down here. So yeah, it's definitely a weekly, daily beauty food for me that I always have. And again, super easy to source, super inexpensive. Wow, so what are those leaves right there in the middle? These? Yeah. Oh, so this is baby arugula. And this is another quick, easy beauty tip. There's these triple wash salad containers. I have found with my clients that if you stock these and keep these in your home, you're more likely to just make salads or include them as part of your meals all the time. It's so easy just to throw them in a bowl, mix them with some easy dressing, and then you're having more greens. In particular, baby arugula is one of my top beauty foods that I talk about in this new book, Beauty Detox Foods. It's a member of the mustard family, so it has um, it's astringent properties. It's cleansing, it's detoxifying, it's great for cleansing, helping to cleanse the blood. So definitely work arugula into your rotation. It has a slightly um, bitter taste, so you might want to pair it with, um, you could pair it with a purple cabbage, you could pair it with some of the other beauty foods to help balance it. And are those onions right there? Oh, no? here, yeah. <laughs> These <laughs> snuck into the mix. These are some spring onions. I am a big fan of onions. They too have, um, they too have some cleansing and detoxifying properties. They also act as a natural diuretic, so they can help balance the fluid levels in your system. Spring onions, yellow onions, white onions, they're just a great, again, really familiar food that's easy to find, but is a great beauty food as well. So take that out. And then, um, I don't know if you can see Natalie, but these drawers down here are pretty packed as well. This one is almost chock full of lemons. Lemons are one thing. No matter where you are, no matter whether you're traveling or not, you can always get this beauty food into your diet. It, lemons are great for your skin. They're full of collagen building, vitamin C. They have citric acid enzymes, which help to build liver tissue, which is your main fat burn fat burning and detoxifying organ. So you can just cut the lemon, squeeze it into hot water. If you want something nice and hot um, in the morning, it's a great way to start your day. You can squeeze it right over salads, dressings, so many different things you can do with lemons. So um, always keep them in your fridge. So that's a good, that's a good overview, mm -hmm. I think. There's a lot of other fun stuff in here, but um, these are some highlights for now, and it does change. There's so many different beauty foods all around, so here are five of them. 
Wow. That's so <laughs> okay. you, and you can see how colorful they all are. Oh, so colorful. I love it. So um, these are all beauty foods, aren't they? Yes. Here's five, but you know, there's there's many more. There's yeah. 50 total that I talk about, which are really specific and really potent. And these are all in the book? These ones are in the book, yes. Amazing. So, <laughs> so I think that I want to... Um, Place a little challenge if you're up for it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what kind of challenge, Allie? Um, I think that I would love you to whip up a meal using all of these ingredients. All of them in one dish? Yes. Okay. Have you ever done that before? No. I thought you were going to ask me to make one with each one, but I can do that. I can, I've never done that before, and I've certainly never done it live, but I'm, I'm up for your challenge. Okay, perfect. So I'm just going to get out of your way and let's get started. <laughs> Okay, okay, great. Well, this is, I like your challenge because this will show if you source, if you know, if you check out Beauty Detox Foods and you find some of the best beauty foods, specifically for the issue you're working on, you can whip up a lot of really um, fun, easy recipes. There's 87 in the book, though, to help get you started and help get you inspired, but just like I'm doing, you can also make things on the fly. Um, so I'm not exactly sure what I'm doing, but I think with the green onions, um, I want to cook them down a little bit. So, oh, and Natalie, this is something that I, I talk about in the book as well. I'm going to cook these onions using a little bit of water. Wait, where's the oil? <laughs> well, I talk about this a lot. Oil actually isn't found in nature. It's not a whole food. It doesn't have, it's been stripped of its fiber and it can actually be quite congestive especially if you're trying to build beauty and keep your weight down. It's something that can easily add um, calories and just grams of fat. And a lot of times if you're just cooking with water, like I'll show you guys how I'm doing it right now, you're not even gonna miss the oil. You're gonna get the same type of recipe, you're gonna get the same flavor. So I always say, I'd rather you know, use my calories or use my fat on something I'm actually noticing um, rather than just using it up with oil. So as you can see, We'll see, I'm gonna cook this down. It may take like a little bit longer, but that way I'm saving, um, putting all the oil in the food and into my body. Okay. And these are some of the things I talk about um, with all the different beauty issues in the book. I talk about hair, um, building beautiful skin, building, um, keeping your weight down, keeping your body more toned. There's a lot of root causes, a lot of different root issues for some of these beauty, um, for some of these beauty issues and something like switching from using water instead of oil is just an easy tip that you can work to get to the root cause of why your skin isn't looking as great as you want it to be or why it's hard to maintain your weight. So I'm gonna let that heat up a little bit and I'll come back to the rest of the foods. Now because the arugula is triple washed, it's organic, I'm just gonna take a little bit when you're in a bind and you can just throw it into your salad bowl um, and start working with it right away. So it is a bit, um, it is a bit bitter as I mentioned, um, but it's really, it's really delicious and it's really, um, it's really cleansing. And I can already hear the, something's happening over there. <laughs> I can already hear the onions start to cook. So what I wanna do, because I pulled the quinoa out of the fridge, it's already cooked, but I wanna heat it up because I don't, and sometimes I like it cold, but it's nice to have something warm, especially if you're just coming home from work. So again, if you cook it, it takes about 12 minutes, then you can store it in your fridge for at least five days or a week. So I'm just gonna toss some of the cooked quinoa in there. Oh, I already smell it. Mm. It actually smells really delicious, right? Yes. And I'm gonna just put a little bit, um, this is some high quality sea salt. I'm gonna toss that in. So one of the best things you can do to add flavor to food instead of using oil is just to add a lot of seasoning. This is some fresh cracked black pepper. And then this is one of my favorite um, spices. It's uh, cumin, which you see a lot in, um, you see a lot, I gotta open it first. <laughs> you see a lot in different Indian dishes or certain ethnic dishes. But again, if you start experimenting with all these different um, spices, it starts to keep your food really fresh and new, and you could still have all these healthful properties and keep it um, non-congestive and totally blo uh, totally beautifying. Wow. So that's what I had on hand. Sometimes I use more fresh herbs, 
Um, if you have basil, you can always toss that in. So you can switch it up. Totally switch it up, whatever you got. So here, again, the, you can see it's not sticking on the bottom. If you needed to put a little bit more water to cook, you totally could. It's already pretty warm. I'm going to turn it down, take it off the heat. Great. So, so be, because I mentioned the, I'm just thinking with you right now, love. Yeah. <laughs> because the arugula is a bit bitter, I'm just going to let this cool down. And we're going to come back over here. I think I want to. Um, I think I want to soften it. And because I mentioned the purple cabbage is just an amazing thing to add to salads, but this is a totally whole purple cabbage. So what I'm thinking is maybe we just use the leaves whole and make like a little wrap with it. Cool. <laughs> and again, there's just so much fun you can have. Natural beauty foods like this are, um, you know, they're colorful, they're super, super fun, the possibilities are endless, and it you know, can really inspire you to get creative in the kitchen. So we've got two of these beautiful looking leaves, so so we pretty. used this one, <laughs> so pretty. And so um, I think what we're going to do, we have the quinoa, I didn't cook the arugula, but I'm going to make almost like a warm salad with it. So we've seasoned the quinoa and the spring onions. There's some salt and pepper. And you guys are going to see how fast I can make this. This is, this is like how I make food for myself at home. It's usually just, um, just a couple minutes. I keep it pretty simple. So I'm actually going to toss the quinoa with the spring onions. Oh, there goes my lemons. <laughs> so it's going to just soften it, but we've kept it raw. And now I'm going to add a little bit of the lemon. So this is going to add, again, a boost of vitamin C to our dish, just more enzymes. It's going to brighten the dish. I often use lemon instead of adding vinegar to it. So we're going to put that in. Oh, that smells so good, Cam. It, sm <laughs> it smells really yummy. And again, the key is just being a little bit prepared. Like if you, go to the sh and if you go to the store and you have some of this stuff around and you take, maybe on Sundays is your day to cook quinoa and then that way you um, have it and you can just toss together really quick dishes like this. So we've got the four ingredients in there and now I'm just gonna dish some of it into, and again, this could be, there's so many beauty foods I talk about in Beauty Detox Foods. There's endless combinations. Maybe you have baby spinach, or maybe you have um, kale. There's so many different greens you could use. Um, <laughs> this looks pretty just as it is. Oh, so you could actually, um, you know, I made enough here for a couple of people. You could actually eat this like a salad. It's a beautiful presentation. You could put it in a bowl, or you could actually roll it up, as I think I'm going to do, <laughs> and eat it like a wrap. And that way you're getting all the enzymes, you're getting all the vitamin C from the cabbage, Super easy. If you wanted to make it look even prettier, you could sprinkle a little bit more black pepper on top to make it look festive, to add a little color. You could add, even add a little bit more um, microgreens, or you could slice some fresh um, pieces of carrot to add some more orange. But as you can see, this is something super simple. Oh, here's a plate right here. So either way, look how beautiful this looks. You could serve it, and you could even... It looks like a work of art. You could garnish it with the rest of your lemon. You could totally serve this even like as an appetizer um, if you're having a dinner party. I have never made this before. <laughs> I swear to God. This is like totally new. Or you could pick it up and eat it as a wrap and then get the raw cabbage in as well. So, so what are you going to call this dish? <laughs> well, since you're here with me and since um, it was your challenge, we'll call it um, the Natalie. Or the, the Natalie Purple Wrap. Oh, I've never had to do that for me. <laughs> Which um, I, lo I love doing. I actually, in Beauty Detox Foods, I have named a lot of the recipes after some of my clients because the dishes are inspired by my clients. So, That's so thoughtful. I love that. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, this is a perfect example of how easy it is to incorporate Beauty Detox Foods, the actual foods, and the recipes into your life. The more you bring these foods into your daily and weekly diet, the more beautiful you become, the better your skin's gonna look, the better your hair's gonna look from the inside out. I love that. So you can make foods like this 
from the book too, right? Yes, you can make like a, there's 87 different recipes as I mentioned, and th these are a starting point. Um, they're great for inspiration, and then you can try your own versions, which I love to hear about. If you guys come up with some great um, variations on the beauty foods, definitely send them our way. Post them on the blog. Yeah, the pictures are so pretty too. Oh my gosh! Well, when I cook, when I'm using a, a book like a recipe book, I know I like to see pictures. So to me, the pictures was like a really big plus for the new book. Yeah. And I hear that there's also a contest. Is that still running? Yes, the contest is running just for a couple more days, which I'm really excited about. Um, it's super simple. Just get three copies of Beauty Detox Foods and email us your receipt, and you'll automatically get the two free reports, Beauty Detox 10 bonus recipes and the 10 bonus beauty foods, which there just wasn't space to fit into this book. But there are also 10 more awesome foods for beauty and for building you know, that beautiful skin, hair, keeping your weight down, 10 more different recipes. You'll get entered to win one of five Vitamixes we're giving away. Five. Five, five Vitamixes. Wow. <laughs> um, 21, it's a crazy number, different vapor uh, makeup packs, which is my, one of my favorite natural makeup companies, and one of 11 still, uh, sequence still motion yoga mats, which are these luxury mats, which are wow. awesome, and a uh, three-day glow bio cleanse, which is from my um, organic uh, smoothie and juice company, just to get you started on your program. That's amazing. Yeah. Okay. So there's a couple more days to enter the contest. It runs until Saturday night, so don't miss out. Get your copies. Um, but it's really exciting that you can actually walk into the bookstore right now and get Beauty Detox Foods, look for the orange book, and just get started. I hope, I hope this inspired you guys. It's super easy to work into your life. It's not intimidating. It's not complicated at all. It, it's not going to cost you any extra money because a lot of these foods are familiar and easy to source. So there's no reason not to get started today. Definitely. Well, you heard the girl. The contest still running, so you should enter that now. Get the book and... Kim, I don't know about you, but I'm pretty hungry. <laughs> you want to try your own recipe? Okay, well, let's try it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Bye.